Hi everyone, it's Jerry Lynn Burnett of JerryLynnBurnett.com and creator of this free 90 Days of Vitality video series that helps you improve your life, transform your body, and expand your vitality. Today is day 20, and as you can see, this is very informal. It's raining outside. I'm about to head out the door, and I just wanted to stop and share with you something very powerful that I read this morning in my Great by Choice book by Jim Collins. This is a book about business and about companies that thrive in the face of uncertainty and adversity, and in spite of it all, they not only pass their nearest competitor, um, but they pass them by tenfold. So they surpass them ten times and are radically successful. How did they do it? What I'm loving about this book so far is that it's not about innovation or um, even motivation, but it's about those principles and characteristics that are harder for us to develop, the discipline, the systems, and the formulas. You may be wondering, what in the world does this have to do with my health and vitality and my fitness? Everything. So hang on with me just a minute. Uh, as they're starting out this book, they share the concept of the 20-mile march and how this 20-mile march allows companies to thrive in the face of uncertain conditions. So this comparison goes like this. Two people are going from L.A. to Maine, and they're going to walk. And the first person, they get up the first day, they walk 20 miles, and they camp. And they get up the second day, and they walk 20 miles, and they camp. And then they get to the desert, and it's really hot. But just like they've always been doing, they get up, and they walk 20 miles, and they camp. And then they get out of the desert, and the weather's really nice, and they could do like 40 or 50 miles. They could go a lot further, but instead, they walk 20 miles that day and stop. 20 miles and stop. No matter how great they were feeling, if they could have doubled that, they committed to 20 miles, hit the 20, and stopped for the evening. Person B, they are more like me. <laughs> they get up the first day and they go 20 miles and rest. And then the second day they go 20 miles, but then they're in the desert and they want to rest for a little bit because it's hot outside. So they just rest all that day. Then the next day, they go their 20 miles, their 20 miles, but then it gets really pretty and the weather cools down a little bit. So they do 40 miles one day, but then they're kind of fatigued when they get to the mountains and they need to rest some more. And while it takes person B, who's going up and down, up and down, up and down, it actually takes them two to three times as long to get to their destination, whereas person A, by consistently going 20 miles, which was their performance standard, they achieve the goal strategically. Your vitality journey is a journey. So it's similar to these 20 miles. And there's three characteristics I wanted to read to you, three reasons why choosing a 20 mile journey over the roller coaster can not only set you up for long-term success, but it really turns the odds in your favor. The 20 mile march, these marchers win because one, it builds confidence in your ability to perform well in adverse circumstances. Two, the 20 mile march reduces the likelihood of catastrophe when you're hit by a turbulent disruption. And three, it helps you exert self-control in an out-of-control environment. So one, it builds confidence in your ability to perform well in adverse circumstances. On your vitality journey, if you commit to benchmarks every day or every month on what you're going to work on and focus on to nourish your body, your soul, your mind, and your spirit, then in those adverse circumstances when things aren't your way, when you're at a dinner party and everyone else is eating unhealthy and you're attempting to eat healthy, when you stick to your 
goal that you're going to eat healthy and eat real food, that's delicious, of course, that's going to build confidence. And the more confidence that you build through practice, then the more you're going to hit your goal and the more you're going to achieve. Second, it reduces the likelihood of catastrophe when you're hit by a turbulent disruption. How many of you have gotten going on strong with a challenge or a new diet or a fitness program and then you had that really busy day where you had meetings all day and life just hit you and then your kid got sick and you have to leave work and, well, you fell off plan that day. And instead of getting back on track, then the next day you get off further. And so while you were heading up, 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 instead you start going down, down, down. And then you might come back up, up, up again, but then it goes down, down, down. Kind of looks like the stock market charts, huh? <laughs> when you practice a 20-mile march, you miss the ups and downs. Instead, you're consistently going in the direction you want and realizing that. And last, it helps you exert self-control in an out-of-control environment. I think the hardest part about this 20-mile march, at least for me, is the idea of exerting self-control and holding back when you know you can do more. So, for instance, if you're just starting out a healthy eating and exercise program, maybe you know you can do the eating and the exercise, but instead you choose to just implement the healthy eating for the first month, maybe even the first three months, and to get that down pat. Even though you know you could do more, you're only committing to the healthy eating portion. And then as time goes on, you can add on more fitness, meditation, relaxation, and those sorts of things. So when you practice self-control, then you're not going to get overwhelmed and you will create order in the midst of chaos. I think the 20 mile march has several implications for our vitality journey and I hope you've been able to see that today. Your get healthy assignment is to think about what does the 20 mile march look like for your vitality journey, for the way you eat, for your fitness, for the way you live your life. Will you be going up and down on a roller coaster or are you going to take those benchmarks and make healthy stick? I hope you've enjoyed today's vitality tip. I want to know what you think. Leave a comment below and I want to hear from you. And go ahead and share this with your friends. Maybe they need the idea of a 20 mile march instead of the crazy roller coaster that most of us are used to being on. If you want more free nutrition, fitness, and healthy living tips, go ahead and click the link below to go to my website and you will get a free nutrition video that makes healthy eating a breeze in any situation. And last, if you aren't subscribed to these free videos every single day, hit the subscribe button right now so you never miss a day of vitality. Have a great weekend, everyone. My name is Jerry Lynn Burnett, and I help women get healthy to transform the world. Bye-bye.